tell me about yourself. Hello, my name is Mohamed Boycanastan. I'm doing a major in political science and international relations department at the Middle East Technical University and a minor in psychology. And in addition to that, I'm enrolled in the Department of Business Administration at the uh, Open Education Faculty of Anatolian University. So I would like to explain my organization and management skills. I start studying business administration so as to reduce the negative impacts of the economic problems and the coronavirus during my life in Turkey and to create an alternative to the salary of my family earned. Thus, the courses I took in this department gave me a competent knowledge uh, in the field of economics. I used to know, uh, I gained an experience I gained while buying and selling vehicles both in my lessons and I achieved uh, economic gains. Also, time planning and establishing priorities are the most important points when training. Therefore, organizing my time and preparing specific strategies was a <coughs> large part of my time. After putting those skills I have mentioned in the foreground, I saw that very good money can be earned and I forecast that prices would rise due to the crisis, so I could only earn uh, 1,000 uh, Turkish euro from a just vehicle. So, in this way, I transferred the knowledge I gained the lessons to the practical life as experience. I also learned from my colleagues who work with you that these skills uh, I are also uh, useful in the data informatics department. So in fact, I would like to work with you in this field where I can do my best interest and relevance by adding something from myself and on this ever advancing learning path. In addition to that, uh, also the work recently received by Matthew on research and Information gathering also impressed me in applying to this department. As an enthusiast uh, of data informatics and statistical operations, Matthew's Department of Data Informatics, with its uh, distinguished scholars, analytical approach, and all uh, encompassing program, has uh, seemed an ideal opportunity for me thanks to my investment in the stock market and my high school math teacher. I have realized how important statistics are. So that's why I want to work in this field to learn all the details possible. Since I come from a family with a meta tradition, I think that being able to anticipate the difficulties and convenience that this department will bring will be a great advantage for me and my colleagues. So in addition, I would like to apply to this program in order to achieve my childhood dream of uh, completing a master's degree at Metu. So due to the successful and well equipped uh, academic study environment, spacious and large campus area, as well as a free uh, thought and discussion environment that my students enjoy. <coughs> Can you talk about one of your weaknesses? So, uh, I don't think I have a weaknesses for anything uh, or a general weaknesses uh, because it is something that differs in how we define weakness and how that situation comes about. If I had to define a weakness from my point of view, what I would say is definitely an undeveloped ability or feature that uh, hasn't been studied and focused on, I guess. If I have no idea about the subject uh, and there is a feature that I need to learn about or improve myself, I have always been successful by working on it. In other words, if what we call a weakness suddenly appears before me, I believe that it will no longer be a weakness as a result of the uh, necessary effort and work on that subject. To give an example, uh, I immediately research the things that I don't know about, what I don't know, what cam I, uh, came across while studying or uh, reading something and I get an idea about the subject and turn them into an advantage. Or if I have a weak side while doing a physical activity, I can turn them into an advantage in a short time when I analyze them and work on them, after all, I have an uh, opportunity to inform myself and needed to use it. How do you work under pressure, stress? Give an example. When I am uh, faced with a stressful situation or when I feel pressured, I prioritize the things that need to be done. Once I have done, uh, I'll take care of those tasks well, one at a time, whatever needs to be done, and I believe that when we are under pressure and we feel stressed, if we analyze and use the stress correctly, very creative things can come out. So I believe this uh, has happened in world history as well. So let me think about it. For example, uh, what led to the invention of the antifreeze was 
Hitler's pressure on German engineers. I think enough stress is actually gives me the opportunity to leave most tasks with a good result. So to give an example for the situation from my point of view, when the company my father founded collapsed and going to the bankruptcy, we had a huge debt burden. So, uh, but instead of worrying about how to fix this situation being by being sad or uh, saying what to do, I started to think about where extra profit can be made and where I can uh, find the money to close this debt. And with the right plan, I was uh, able to pay a debt around 3 million Turkish liras uh, in a year. So the biggest uh, thing I did uh, here was to pri prioritize and use stress correctly. How has your education prepared you for this position? One of the biggest uh, reasons why I applied to this department was the feeling and the pleasure when I took the courses related to the department. One third of uh, all the courses I took throughout my uh, academic life were courses related to the field of data informatics. That is why I now feel uh, ready to apply to this program as I have improved the basic uh, mathematics uh, I took in a uh, high school uh, while I was taking the economic courses in my department in addition to that also I have background in this program thanks to the uh, programming language concept which is CNG242 uh, uh, from associate uh, professor Dr. Enver Ever statistics uh, for social sciences from associate uh, professor Dr. Yasem Nuzgören which is uh, BAS 152 and C programming CNG 140 from SSV and Professor uh, Yeliz Yeshilada. Apart from these courses, uh, I also took statistic courses in order to be able to uh, make mathematical and graphical calculations in the economics department as well as microeconomics and uh, uh, macroeconomic courses from uh, Dr. Fatih Tuluk, which is ECHO 101 and 102. How do your interests contribute to your personal and or professional development? So in order to, uh, my, for my interests to contribute to my personal or professional development, I choose my hobbies from things uh, that will add something to me. For example, reading a book uh, besides like to do sports and it helps me in terms of being healthy, engaging in finance. Uh, is also a hobby for me and I also uh, use finance to earn money in fact uh, in some way both physically mentally and financially and these emotional mental or uh, financial contributions uh, I make to myself allow my character to develop and have positive effects on my career so uh, even while choosing my hobbies I used to think about whether it would contribute to me and this enabled me to shift my attention to the direction I wanted and I feel uh, lucky for this. So what do you think uh, makes us different from others? I think uh, the best answer to this question should be the uh, quality of the courses and the instructors. The courses I took at METU helped me uh, to come to this day and be successful uh, both in my private life and in my academic life too. So also since I come from a family with a meta tradition, I was able to use these contributions better and turn them into the situations that provide extra advantages for myself. We are talking about a school that has managed to become the uh, 85th best university, 85th uh, best university in the world. It was never an easy thing, but I was educated in a, such a school and this education brought me here. What skills do you think are critical for this position or program? Why? When we talk about the field of data informatics, uh, I think the most important factor here is definitely the ability to research uh, and analyze. So as it is a field based on data collection and analysis, there is a, a subject at the hand uh, but it is not uh, easy to apply to certain fields and obtain data from these areas and there is no data uh, but these data form the basis of the work so where this data will be used in the next stage and where it will be used to show which situations also requires analytical skills uh, I think that's why analysis and research is fundamental to this work how long will you stay with us why do you think so 
The answer uh, I will give uh, to this question is this the moment you stop giving me uh, uh, something or I feel that I can no longer improve myself and learn from you I would definitely like to go out, uh, go to the place where I can improve myself more so therefore there will be no periods like two three or five years that I can give to this question so uh, as someone who believes that people are in a learning process until their last breath so I say this because I believe that continuous learning and continuous development and change are unchangeable and uh, inevitable part of our lives.